One of my favorite things about the Atlassian tools is that they create so much synergy between their tools. You've already seen how Loom can integrate with Jura, two different products and how they come together. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how Confluence and Jura, while this is not new, right? We've been able to integrate Confluence and Jira for many, many, many years, but Atlassian continues to elevate and make the experience so much better. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a couple new features that make working with Confluence from within Jira so much more better. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like, and more importantly, if you need help getting any of this configured, check out my link tree down below. Let me help you out. I have 30 minute blocks, 15 minute blocks, or one hour blocks. If you need any questions, any help, I am here to help you out. So make sure you check out that link tree down below. All right, let's jump into Jira and let me show you this exciting new feature. All right, so here I am inside of Jira and I'm gonna show you two cool things that you're gonna wanna do. So number one, if you are in a business template, this does not apply to teams that are in Scrum or Kanban because this functionality from based on what I'm reading has been available for a really, really long time, but business templates now have the same capability. And that is you can come over here to the pages section. And when you click into this, you will have the ability to connect with Confluence. And the steps are very, very easy. So all you need to do is open up a business-based project and then click on pages. And if you've never done the connection before, it's simply gonna ask you to connect. So you click on that. You pick a space, so you can pick any existing space or you can create a brand new space if you want to, and then click connect. Now this step is not necessary to do what I'm about to demonstrate next, but it does show you just the level of integration because from within this view, I can now expand the hierarchy and see the pages from Confluence inside of Jira without having to leave Jira. And I think this is again, a very big time saver and a huge demonstration of that synergy that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. And so this is really cool because we can see this, we can also edit it and now just be able to, you know, when, when the, you're in the heat of the moment, be able to do what you gotta do here, publish it and you're good to go, okay? Now that's one demonstration of how this works. But the next part that I'm gonna show you is this new feature that is basically going to allow you to put your Confluence and your Jira side to side. So forget about the pop-up, you just have the entire experience side to side, which again allows you to, uh, one, appreciate that synergy, and two, not lose your train of thought because having to switch apps, having to switch tools can can take a tax on your train of thought, on your, you know, that that thing, that thought that you had, that idea that you were going to document, right? Just the simple fact that you had to take your eyes off the prize here and go click somewhere else, like that can hurt people, right? That could be very uh, serious with respect to productivity. And so I'm going to show you how easy it is to basically now just not lose your train of thought, not have an interruption to your flow, and just show you how seamless this works. So back over here inside of Jura, I'm gonna open up any issue that I want, okay? And then what you're normally able to do is you can click on this add button here and I can reference an existing piece of Confluence document or I can create a new one or I can do a whiteboard. This is gonna work with anything Confluence related. So let's just refer to an existing one. I'm gonna go over here to my demonstration space and I'm just gonna bring this page right here and link it. Okay, nothing fancy, nothing special. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to pick something um, valuable to you. Now, here's the tricky part. Ideally, when you click on this, right, instead of this pop-up, instead of the information there, what's supposed to happen is you will want to open up the issue in full screen. And okay, this is what I learned. It needs to be in full screen because now once you're in full screen, right, once the entire tab of your browser is the issue, then you can click on this item here and it will open up the item on the right. Now this was obviously a bad example, so let me see if I can get you a better example. Here we go, there's a better example. So as you can see, the information that I have in Confluence, there's the title of the page, here's the information. I can click on edit, right? And I can go, hey, um, uh, subscribe to the channel, right? I can say, go go to link.tree, linked tree slash ape tech and sign up for some one-on-one -on -one help, right? And when I do the update here, notice that I'm in Jura. Notice that on the left-hand side, I am all in Jura, but I was just able to, on demand, be able to essentially, and I don't even know if that's my URL. Let me see if that's the right URL. Linked tree, okay, so I don't even know how to spell it. But anyways, going back to this, right? I am able to do all my edits from within Jura. Okay, so that's the beautiful part of all this, right? I am not leaving Jira at all. 
I am staying inside of Jira and I'm able to put the information that I need to, right? So in this case, I just went and updated. I made a mistake. I just went and updated to my link tree so that if you do need some one-on-one -on -one help, you now have easy access to that. You can just go to my link tree, link in the description down below. And um, yeah, and then it just works flawlessly, right? So that, that synergy, that train of thought, none of that gets disrupted. You have the ultimate optimal flow to let you be as productive as possible. So this is a very, very big win in my book. A very cool and awesome feature. I love this side to side. I just, and then when you're done, you just click on the little X here. You can get rid of that. And you could also, if you wanted to, go full screen and get that pop-up back up, which again, this is normally what it used to work, but now we have it side to side, which I think I like a little bit more, right? Because just being able to reference information from the ticket itself and being able to create the page, it just saves so much time, energy, and effort. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button. And more importantly, if you need help setting any of this up, maybe you need a Jira, maybe you need a Confluence and you're like, Alex, where do I even start? Use that link in the description, that link tree specifically, and let me help you out. I have a few slots available. So if you need any help with any of your Jira, Confluence, or any Atlassian related questions, use that link tree down below. Let's set up a quick call to chat about your problems and then we are going to be on our merry way. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.